coming to the circuit of voltage pole over using an IC7410 pump. As usual, give the plus VCC and minus VCC. Here you give your input in terminal 3. 2 is directly connected to output pin 6. We don't use any resistors in the circuit. Just an op amp, a signal generator, R1 and RF are missing here. Just connect 2 to 6. Then this is the output terminal 6. You call the circuit as voltage follower because the output voltage just follows the input. Or in other sense, whatever is the phase and magnitude of your input, it will be same for the output also. Output will also have the same voltage and same phase. That is why you call the circuit as voltage follower. Coming to the circuit, all you need is the IC741. We will give the biasing supplies first. Our red wire of plus VCC to 7. Our black wire of minus VCC to pin 4. Ground wire from the biasing supply to the ground line. Now pin 2 is connected to 6 and 3 you give the signal. Pin 2 is connected with this violet wire to pin 6. Now signal from the signal generator can be connected to the input terminal that is 3. So once again, red is plus VCC, black is minus VCC, ash color is ground, violet wire connects pin 2 to 6. Now input wires from signal generator to terminal 3, the other counterpoint pin of the signal generator to ground. Now we will leave a wire for the output to be measured with CRO that is from pin 6. So output wire is this ash wire and its counterpart can be connected to the ground. This is the counterpart wire to the ground of the circuit. So once again summing up the circuit, red plus VCC, black minus VCC, this ash is the ground from the power supply. These two pins are the input positive of the input, this is the negative of the input. These two wires for the output, positive of the output, ground of the output. So the circuit is done. Now we will switch on the power supply, switch on the signal generator, switch on the CRO. We will connect channel 1 of the CRO to the same point as that of the input in the breadboard and this is the output channel, channel 2. To the pin 6. Coming to the CRO, this is the input channel 1, this is the output channel 2. Say to it that the sweep mode is lock position with auto and norm pressed together, that is lock for this model of CRO. Say to it this one of the channels is triggered. You are using both channels, channel 1 and channel 2. Both the channels we are using. So press both channel 1 and channel 2. We will give an input voltage of 20 millivolt or 40 millivolt peak to peak with this knob in 0.2 volt. We will observe the CRO. We will release the first channel from the ground. So that is our input. We will release a second channel from the ground. So that is our output. So second channel I will move to identify it. So this is the output. So let us see if they are in phase. So I will overlay the second channel onto the first channel. Yes, it is in phase. So input and output are in phase with each other. Now we have to measure the magnitude. It is two divisions and the multiplier is in 20. So 40. That is, this is millivolt, so 40 millivolt is the input voltage, output 
let us measure it exactly. It is again 2 divisions. So, 2 divisions into its multiplier that is also 20 millivolt per division. So, the output is 40 millivolt per total. So, input and output is 40 millivolt. So, you have observed that the output is in phase with the input and the magnitude is same as that of the input or it is acting as a voltage follower. Now you can repeat the experiment by changing the input voltage to some other value. You can increase the voltage to say 30 millivolt or 40 millivolt whatever it is and observe the input and output. So in this manner you can repeat the experiment. So this can be the observation column. You can note down the input voltage, measure the output voltage and calculate the gain. Repeat this for various values of input voltage. You can always see the gain would be 1. V out by V in will always be 1 for the voltage follower. You can sketch your phase of the input and output wave in a graph paper to show that they are in phase. So that completes the experiment. Thank you.